I'm joined here by Edward Randall and Joe Goldsmith Eatson from the Swingles Singers. Thank you very much for coming today. You, I mean, you have a central part in in this whole a cappella world, really. And you started 50 years ago. Ward Swingle started the Swingles Singers um, as real pioneers in in the art of you know vocalisation. In a sense, you're now seen as a seen as a supergroup. <laughs> is is that is that the sort of journey that you feel the group has been on? Um, it's an interesting question because um, the, you know the first uh, album that the group put together, they were just uh, all friends who decided to sing together and give the CD to their friends and family. It wasn't even a, you know, let's do something new that the music world hasn't seen before. It just so happened to be picked up by a local radio station, and uh, suddenly, you know, everything just exploded from there. Um, and so it's interesting to now be considered a supergroup from something that was such a humble beginning. It was just, mm. you know, a group of friends all sitting around a piano. But do you think there's something of that spirit in a sense that remains? Oh yeah, well we are very good friends and that's very important because we, we tour so much together and everything. And, and I, think, I think that although the group has changed a lot in 50 years in various ways, um, there, there's a spirit hopefully that we have in common with the original group of wanting to try new things and use the voice in a really innovative way. And you're still experimenting really all the Absolutely. time, aren't you? Yeah, that's very important to us. I mean, I remember one of your members, Kevin, saying that you, you compose a lot of music yourself now. It's not just arranging no. other things. Mm. No, we, we really like to give our audience a treat of, you know, everything that they could possibly want to hear in, in an evening of music. Um, you know, we give them, you know, songs that the group have been singing for over 20 years, and we hope that they sound the same now as they did 20 years ago. You know, we, we even do... Um, one of my songs, Bedinery, which Christian Legrand, you know, sang in the original lineup. So it, it's uh, it's really nice to give the audience our own music that we've been working on, collaborating on together, um, as well as you know the old favourites the that they're hoping the to hear favorites. as well. Yes. And talking of Bedinery, which is of course from Bach's orchestral yeah. suite. I mean, Bach has a central place, doesn't he, in the whole development of the single singers. He does. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's how the group starts out was yeah. um, getting together and singing through some of Bach's keyboard music and um, the first couple of albums were, were just Bach and then they expanded to other classical composers and then you know it's expanded more and more since then but yeah Bach's music is still very close to our hearts I think. Yeah. And what was so new about it because obviously it was singing instrumental music and it was scatting and it was doing all these things but they weren't what was what was actually new about bringing all those things together? I think it was the combination of the three things. It was it was um, singing with no lyrics, um, you know, something that was instrumental, and then adding a swing feel underneath. I think it, it was just the combination of those things that hadn't really been explored to that level. Um, of course, Jack Lucio was doing similar things at that time. But um, yes, I yeah. mean that's interesting. Why does Bach lend him, his music? Why does it lend itself so well to improvisation? Do you think? Well, the, the harmony is amazing, you know, the chords are just very, very satisfying and I think very satisfying to improvise over. But also the, 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 the lines, the vocal, the, the, you know, we talk about voice leading in, um, in classical composition and, and, and it's, it's a very, the lines he writes are very singable and very logical. So, very um, stepwise sort of movement mm -hmm. rather than parts jumping around everywhere. So it, it feels quite natural to sing those yes. lines, it, as difficult as they sound. Um, they, they actually lend themselves quite, quite well to the voice. And do you think the dance, the fact that a lot of the, the music is dance-based as well, that you might like Bodinery in, in a sense, does that also help with this, the making it, swinging it? Possibly, yeah. I hadn't really thought about the dance element, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot, I think there's a lot of like, forward momentum in, mm. in yes. Bach's music. It, it's, it's, doesn't, it's not static at all, um, which does, I suppose, lend itself to being, being swung. I mean, but what I think is interesting about the, the swingle approach is that the, the actual kind of main voice lines don't swing at all. They're, 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 they're really even and then it's just putting in the, the, the swing rhythm uh, section yeah, the, underneath. The rhythm, yeah. It gives it that feel. So it's like there's, there's this push and pull. There's a tension there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can I just ask you, what's one of your favourite Bob, your favourite Bob track that the swingles have done? Um, well, th probably the one that I enjoy singing the most, although I think it's, it's one of the hardest um, to sing, is a three-part invention. Oh, yes. Which is just, it's just beautiful. Mm. Yeah, and it's, very, it's actually quite easy for me. I get a fairly easy ride of it compared <laughs> to the sopranos. <laughs> yes. Um, but that's, that's always a good one. 
Yes, and in fact, I think that you're going to sing that in your concert, I think we will. aren't you? Oh, yeah. That's coming up at King's Place in May. Yeah. And how about you? Sorry to be boring, but I agree. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, three the part same. I think is my favourite one to listen to for sure, and the arrangement is stunning. Um, it's not an easy ride for the sopranos; you have to really prepare before you sing it. But um, I think uh, you know, whenever we finish, there's this amazing silence that follows, and you know, occasionally there'll be a sort of <laughs> there's just something about it that yeah. leaves the audience with that sense of wonder. It's really beautiful. Yes. I mean, another one that's very famous for you, obviously, is the air on the G string that mm. um, everybody loves. Mm. Is that very hard to control? That, is, that is actually quite a tricky one, actually, yeah. It is a tricky um, one. But, but again, it's, you know, it's, it's very rewarding to sing. And we love seeing that in Italy because it's, um, it's used, the original Swingles version of that is used as a, a theme tune to a very uh, famous TV show in Italy oh, um, called Super Quark. And, yeah. um, <laughs> And so uh, most people just think of it as the theme tune from Super Quark. So yeah. that's, that's sometimes how we introduce <laughs> yes. it. I remember one of your members once saying to me that some of the music you, that, that you sing that is Bach is, is, shouldn't really be possible to be sung on the voice because it, it is so instrumental and so complex. Yeah. Would you, what would you say was one of the, the really challenging um, things? I think... Sometimes it's tricky um, with some of the fugues, we've had to transpose them to make them uh, possible to sing. Um, either they were too high for the sopranos or too low for the bass, so we have to sort of somehow rearrange it so that all the parts are still there, but you know, we don't have anyone shrieking or growling or, you know. Um, so I think, um, I think the fugues are probably the hardest to reimagine um, because I think a lot of them have had to be uh, transposed to be possible to sing. Yes, yes. And another thing, I, I, I'm always amazed by the way you sing Badinari. How do you actually get into that? Because there's no, there's no preparation, is there? You just, you're just into it. It's very, very fast. Yeah, it's, it's, what, it's is it all in one, one kind of breath. <laughs> Um, some of it, yeah. It's one of those where actually sometimes the faster you do it, the easier it is because you don't run out of breath. And once you get into the, the rhythm of the, the scat, um, you know, if you were to slow down, suddenly you'd trip over yourself. So I think, yeah, there's a, there's a good balance between it being too fast to sing or, or just fast enough to keep it moving forwards. Um, but I think, I think it was pretty dreadful the first time I sang it. It's definitely practice <laughs> that makes it possible. <laughs> it's just yeah. the way you sort of explode into it that I find yeah. extraordinary. It, it's, it's, there's very few other pieces I can think of vocally like that, <laughs> that you do that. And do you still, I, I saw a, a film of you working with Ward Swingle. Do you still see him? And is we he still do. sort of have, has a, a part um, in, in a sense, he keeps his eye on what you're doing? Absolutely. He loves to know um, what we're up to and uh, he loves to uh, receive our new arrangements. You know, we'll send him the score and send him some recordings because he lives in Paris, so mm. we don't see him as often as we'd like. But um, he was actually at uh, our festival last year, but can't make it this year, sadly. But um, yeah, we, we do still see him. And until maybe two or three years ago, we were still rehearsing with him as well. Mm. which is really nice. He's really wonderfully supportive of the group and, and takes an interest in what we're doing. Doesn't, is, isn't, I mean, he wants us to do well, but he's not, he's not protective in a sort of narrow-minded sense yes, of, he's, of, he's of the group at all. Yes, he's not fixed about how it no, was he just, that you have to keep that he legacy. He wants us to keep on doing yeah, exciting things. he's thrilled things. that it's still going and that we still sing, you know, his arrangements in the show. Yeah. 